Hello, hello! Today I'm talking about my next deluxe Disney Resort Hotel, which is the Wilderness Lodge. I always get confused between the Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness, and when Alex and I last went to Disney, we had booked a meal at Wilderness Lodge, and we ended up going to Fort Wilderness because the names are just so similar. They're kind of connected, but they're not in the same location, and Fort Wilderness is a moderate hotel. But if I continue to call this hotel that I'm talking about now Fort Wilderness, which I may do because I may have some sort of memory lapse, it is the Wilderness Lodge, the Deluxe Hotel. I'm just pre-warning you now. So as a general overview, the theme of Wilderness Lodge is a national park lodge and it's in the Magic Kingdom area. Transportation wise, there's a bus that takes you to all the parks and there are two boats that you can get from Wilderness Lodge. One will take you directly to the Magic Kingdom, the other one will take you to Fort Wilderness Campgrounds and the Contemporary. It's the only, which is another deluxe hotel, it's the only hotel in the Magic Kingdom area that isn't connected on the monorail line. Accommodation wise you can have views of the service area, rooftops, parking, the main courtyard, the lake, the pools, woodlands or the waterfall. Standard rooms offer up to four adults sleeping and that would comprise of two queen beds or just one king bed for two adults or a queen bed and a bunk bed which is amazing fun. To offer a deluxe room which would cater for up to six adults with living room and a couple of bedrooms off that. Bathrooms are generally always the same in Disney hotels. You have two sinks outside of the bathroom and then inside the bathroom you have a loo, a small bathtub and a shower over the bath. There are two pools in Wilderness Lodge. The first one is absolutely huge. It starts as like a babbling or bubbling brook in the main reception and then it flows down into a massive pool which has a 67 foot long slide in it and a couple of hot and cold whirlpools. There's another hidden leisure pool amongst the villa area of the hotel, but anyone staying at the hotel can stay, you don't have to be staying in the villas, and that also has hot whirlpools. Dining wise, Wilderness Lodge offers a signature restaurant, which is one of Disney's nicer restaurants. If you're on the Disney dining plan, that is worth two credits. It is called Artist Point. I ate there, it was lovely. They offer one other table service, which is one credit on your Disney dining plan, and that is called Whispering Canyon, and it's a themed restaurant. I believe it's like a Western theme, and they like lasso your napkins to you, and throw your cutlery at you, not in a vicious way, just in a fun, that's what they do in the western way. Like western movies, not the west of the country. They also have a quick service restaurant and a lounge and a pool bar and they also have in-room dining but it's only offered from 6.30 till 11am, 6.30 till 11.30am and 4pm till midnight. And that's two Disney credits if you're on the dining plan. Amenity wise, there's laundry, dry cleaning, health club, child care. You can rent sorry bikes, motorboats. You can play and sing and roast marshmallows around campfires. And they also have something called backstage music, which is where I think, no, backstage magic. Unique aspects of this hotel. As soon as you walk into the hotel, there's this whoosh of pine smell. I'm all about the smells because I think that your initial memories are always associated with smells and as soon as you walk in this hotel smells amazing. It just smells like... I don't know if you get it everywhere in the world but there's this bubble bath called Badidas or Badidas and it smells exactly like that and I love that smell. The lounge that I touched on before in the dining section is called Territory Lounge and they offer some of the coolest food. They offer fondue, which, uh, like a cheese fondue, which I love, and it's so hard to come by. And they offer popcorn with truffle mushroom butter, which I don't really like mushrooms, but I don't mind the taste of it. So that sounds brilliant. They do pork nachos, which are like a combination of the best of both worlds. And they do the Pim's cocktail, which is 
such an English summer cricket drink and god amazing that food is available on the Disney dining plan but it's all very very reasonable so I think that is definitely if you're not staying there I think definitely go to this lounge Wilderness Lodge is also famous for their cobbler which is sort of like an English version of a crumble but it's black forest fruits and really nice kind of spongy topping with a bit of crumble aspect and the reason for that why they're famous for it is because it's absolutely brilliant. I always bang on about how amazing lobbies are in deluxe resort hotels but this one is incredible. It's got huge wooden pillars, wooden sculptures and other sculptures and fires and it's got that babbling brook in it and it smells great. It's just oh, pretty cool, pretty cool lobby. So my overall verdict on this hotel is that it is absolutely simply stunning. The food they offer is really yummy and it smells nice and the pool is really cool. The only negative side of it would be for me is that I'm not someone that grew up going to national park lodges. I went to Yosemite when I was 14 and that's the only time that I've ever really been to a woodland lodge. And I think that this hotel made me realise that Disney try and create their resorts based on maybe a holiday that you would always take with your family when you were younger. And my favourite Disney Resort Hotel, I've been trying to think why is it my favourite, but I think it's because it reminds me of the holidays that I used to take with my parents to whatever that theme of the hotel was. And I think if you loved going to national park lodges growing up then you and you liked camping and things like that then you would love this hotel but I'm not the campy kind of gal and it doesn't really evoke memories for me so that's a very very personal thing and obviously not really a general negative I don't like the room decor as much but again it's probably more you know cabiny which is not really my thing so no real negatives actually at all, just my silly preferences on not camping in a five star hotel. Anyway guys, that's my review, fantastic hotel, I can't wait to go there and try that fondue and those pork nachos with a side of fruit cobbler. Thanks for watching as always, see you guys soon, bye bye!